nestled at the feet of the Gaolugong Mountains, only 150 kilometers from the border with Myanmar. There is more to the town of Hushuan than meets the eye. It is a quaint rural village, but it was also an important trade center in the region, home to a curious intersection of Western and Eastern influences. I met up with my friend Brian to first explore some of its distinctive historical attributes. Hey, hey, hey. Brian, great to see you. Mm. And all this, nice, all this needs is some little TLC. Yeah, a little, a little, a little, a little love to like bring it back to life. Exactly, and once we do that, everything just talks about history. Mm -hmm. so, you know, it speaks like just culture, tradition. But you've been in, in Yunnan for quite a while now, too. I have. It's been, it's been about 12, 15 years. Okay. But in China, totally since 1984. Wow, okay. So China really is my home now. Brian's passion for the old ways of doing things pull him towards places like this workshop on the outskirts of town where paper is still made by hand. The legacy of making paper in this way goes back at least 450 years. The process is something of an art, and I'm quick to learn it's not as easy as it looks. Okay. Can okay. you Can you You have to get the evenness across the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, that's true, huh? And it's so thin. Okay. This special Hushuan paper, famed for its strength and resilience, requires a slow, patient hand. I struggle with the process. Hushuan's historical charms aside, it is also home to some of the best food in Western China. Okay, let's eat this. This okay. is special. This is one of my favorite dishes. And um, it has a very interesting story. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah, so I heard that like the emperor a long time ago, right. maybe in the Ming Dynasty, he like right. came on a, a, a trip to, to Tongchong right. under whatever circumstances, but he was dressed like in plain clothes. Sure. And so no one knew that he was the emperor. And like on the like the long road, there wasn't a lot of food. And right. like by the time he got to Tongchong, he basically hadn't eaten for a really long time. And Who so like told a, old, you this? a old woman made him this dish that essentially saved, saved his life. Him. So the Dajol Jia, that they call it here, like refers to the story in which like this dish was what right. resuscitated the life Good job. into the emperor. Good job. Hushuan is also famous for its library. The building was created nearly 100 years ago, its construction funded almost entirely by a huge number of locals living overseas. Wow. So this is the, the library. library of Hushuan, I believe cool. built in the 20s? 1920s. Yeah, and he thought it has like this really interesting architectural style too, it seems to incorporate a lot of more European feel too. I think that this is a reflection of really the, you had the overseas Chinese leaving a place like Hushan, mm -hmm. they going over to, you know, going to places like North America and they would come back and they would incorporate some of the building styles. It's kind of very interesting. Next, Brian and I drop in at the Lee family courtyard. The mansion was commissioned by a wealthy merchant with a taste of foreign flourishes. The collection features French stained glass windows, Japanese porcelain, and a 200-year-old Italian clock. This is in the history of how long time? It's been 204 years. This is a piece that looks very Chinese. Yes, it's all Chinese. My father is a 
，可以学习，我也长了长嘴，我这样子教的这样做。嗯，那你下午回来。教过上海、东北的英语老师给他们补习，英语跟着补习没出去做生意，所以现在四百多人了，都在世界各国。For a town of only 6,000 residents, in a little corner of China, Hushuan's diaspora is remarkable. The library was funded by nearly 10,000 people from Hushuan living abroad, and the Li Mansion furnished by a world traveler. It seems no matter how far people get from this place, its rustic charms inevitably call them back. Thanks for watching. This was just one of the many incredible places I got to visit on my month-long journey across Yunnan. Like, share, and explore the rest of the province with me in this 12-episode series.